Welcome to Drink Scale Models, I'm Jason, your host, and I do models and electronics and unboxings. What's going on today? Oh, how's everybody? Today we are taking a look at this item I received in the mail, and this is out of focus. Let me focus this up here. Okay, that's in that's still not in focus. Let's let's see if we can move that up here. And let's try to focus it again. Why is that not why is that not wanting to focus on that? There we go. There it goes. Okay, now we're in focus. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so this is a CP300. It is a repair heat mat. So um, let's get into this here. This is for replacing the screens and digitizers on my switches. It is a heated mat. everything was right in the description it is going to open from this way apparently so the, this is a mat used for heating up the screen of a phone or tablet there we go it is not very big and that is what I was looking for because I've seen these for like large tablets and things like that and that was too big for what I needed it for so I found this one it has a little um, it's it's the perfect size for a switch and I'll show you what I mean here if I take this screen here and I put that in there. If I take this, it will fit perfectly on here, like so. And then I can heat it up and remove the digitizer without any issues. So let me let me test this out. I am, and it's nice because if you're just changing the digitizer, you can use the little compartment up here for the screws. Let me take that off of there. Let's just take a quick gander at this. Oh, look at that Chinese Google Translate. Here we come. So, yeah, it's in. Oh, here's English on the back. Long press the up key to switch to Chinese. Long press the down key to switch to English. Um, set up the temperature, mobile phones, tablets. I believe I'm using tablet mode. Press and hold the M key to enter tablet mode. Um, when the tablet mode is activated, the system defaults to a countdown of 25 minutes. Point the system will be heated up to the preset temperature. 25 minutes? What? Well, takes 25 minutes? Okay, that seems weird. Let's figure this, plug it in, and see what happens. Let's, um, I might pull this digitizer off on here and see what, um, happens. I probably should have live streamed this, but, you know, um, I'm used to the heat gun style of, um, screen, rep of the screen replacements. Hello? Uh. Can you hear me? Okay. Sorry, the audio went there for a second. Um, I've used the heat gun method for testing 
uh, for removing the screens, the hair dryer method. And I've got into doing more of these. So I have got one of these heat mats here. Let's turn it on here. And it's in phone mode. Let's go to that. And it's at 71 degrees. Uh, it's in Fahrenheit mode. It is getting warm. Um, it is warming up. Um, so, I kind of wanted it in Celsius because that's how I know the temperature here. Um, let's see here. Setting up the countdown. Um, well, it's definitely heated up here, so um, we'll put the unit on here. It's at 140. Um, let's see. I'm going to let this heat up for a little bit. The mat is definitely hot. Um, let me just pull something up here. So, it is uh, 154. What does it say the temperature it holds it at here for the tablet mode? Um, default temperature for the tablet is um, 194, and it can be set from 50 to 194, and it's holding at 170. Um, press and hold the M key. Uh, okay, tablet mode is activated. Okay. Consists of a heating phase and temperature. Heating phase, four minute run time. When tablet mode is activated, the system defaults to a countdown for at which point the system will be heated up to a preset temperature and insert a constant temperature phase of four minutes. So it's at 194 degrees. Let's Yeah, that bubbled it, so that was that was too much heat. That was way too much heat, so let's that was way too much heat, so that is not that was way too much heat for the switch, so I am going to set this. I want to bring. I want to bring this down a little bit to probably a hundred, hundred and ten. All right, and we'll go ahead and leave that to the same. So that should cool down. So yeah, that was that was way too much heat. Um, again, this is this is switch is all scratched up. The digitizer is going to be changed on this anyways. And that was too much heat. I know that is hard to see, um, but the sucker is hot. It warped my mat too. Oh, man, this is this is becoming this is becoming an epic nightmare. Okay, so I warped my mat. Let's put it down here because this does generate a lot of heat. So it's at 161. It is cooling down. Um, At least the screw part doesn't get hot. So, um, running for four minutes when the drip drip sound is heard and the sister enters. Constant temperature phase and the countdown ends. It does save, save my print temperature preset. So, yeah, see, this is for glass tablets, so having um, having it set 
to 194 Fahrenheit was way too much. I should have did it at 100, so it's going to cool down now. So I just want to heat it up a little bit. So we'll let that go here. Okay, I don't know what this 20 minute beeping is. So, now it's climbing back up in heat. What? Why is it climbing back up in heat? No, I want it to, I want it at 100. What is going on here? 110, 11, whatever. What is going on here? Is it cooling down or going? Yeah, it is going down. So, this is very interesting. This is, this is a lot more. I thought it was going to be turn on um, and set the temperature and go from there. I didn't know it was going to keep changing temperatures on me. But it's a learning curve. Um, I've never used one of these heating mats before. Um, I've always wanted to, but a hair dryer has always worked, or my hot air station, um, set to 100, but, um, yeah, is it even, yeah, it's cooling down, so let's see, yeah, it's still set for 111. Let's turn it off. And let's turn it back on and see what happens. Okay, so it's on phone mode. How do you get it on tablet mode? Okay, it's back on tablet mode. And it is set for 111. Okay. It's on that 25 minute timer thing. So let's see if we can get it to cool down to 110 and see what we can get. It did heat up very quickly. You saw that, guys. It got hot quick and bubbled the, the digitizer. That's a thing. But like I said, this digitizer is bad anyways. Um, I do replace the digitizer. But when I take the digitizers off, I normally I damage them. I, I'm not... I always end up doing some kind of damage to the digitizer, so because I can't get the, the adhesive doesn't come off correctly, or I have some issue where the digitizer is damaged. So I'm hoping that this heat mat will allow me to not run into that issue with damaging the digitizer on removal. So it's at like 116, so I'm going to put the, the switch on there and let it sit there for a minute. So, and we're going to see how that does. Um, let's see, is it... It does feel like it's getting warm. I'm going to get the picks out here and see if I can get this to open up here. So we're gonna let this sit on here for a bit. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mess around with a little, for a little bit and see what I can do here with this. Okay, so that is warm. able to get that in there yet. I might need to go get a razor blade. I don't normally change them at my bench. Um, let me see here. I probably don't have what I need to do this. But... Yeah, I'm trying 
end up. Yeah, that's going to see. This is how I end up messing it up. So, I am going to mess with this. I'm not going to sit here on, str on this video and mess with this anymore. I am going to... Um, I am going to play with this off camera, and um, once I get it all figured out, I will um, I make a follow-up video of me actually changing digitizers on videos. This is just um, meant to be a quick unboxing and setup and demo of the unit. Um, that's basically how it works. You can set the temperature. Yeah, like I said, you have mobile phone mode and tablet mode. And then you have a countdown timer, so you can have it um, countdown. Appears tablet mode is a little bit more sophisticated with the 25-minute countdown thing. But um, and also, if you turn it off, it saves your temperature preset, but it does not save the countdown preset value after restarting. The countdown restores restores to the default 25 minutes. So I'm wondering if. Um, see on mobile phone settings when turned off in this mode the device will maintain temperature and countdown presets after restart the last preset temperature and countdown values will automatically run so maybe phone mode would be a better mode to set this up in it also gets a heck of a lot hotter in phone mode in phone mode it'll get to 248 Fahrenheit or 120 C um, yeah I'm not going that hot so maybe I will do some test in the next video before I before I um, change a digitizer of to see how the heating works in the different modes between mobile and tablet like does it see now it, it see it's climbing up to 167 again after five minutes so I don't know why it's doing that so let's let's go to phone mode and let's go down to 111 And let's run it. Let's run it at, let's just say, 15 minutes, 16 minutes. And at 111, I want to see if the I mean, it feels like it's getting hot everywhere still. It still feels like it's warm on the edges. So, and let's see if I turn this off. Turn it back on. Yeah, see, it did store it in phone mode. Okay, so there's the different modes. I know it's hard to see on the screen because it, it's even light on my screen. So, this is the new toy. We will be testing it. We will be changing some digitizers. Um, be advised, it does get warm on the bottom. So um, be advised of that because my bench is warm. So, and it bubbled my cutting mat that I normally have under my silicone mat. And it won't quite fit on my silicone mat. So I guess I could start using it sideways and use it on my silicone mat too. So. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, you can check me out at these social media links. You can also support me on Patreon. Um, I just want to say thank you so much and have a fantastic day.